Hey, what's up, travelers? It is the first day of Song Crayon Festival today, and sitting here under some umbrellas on a beach chair. Just got me a nice ice cold coconut. I'm just kind of relaxing before we go check out all the festivities with the water throwing. It should be an interesting day. For those of you that don't know, the Song Crayon Festival. It lasts about a week, but the first day is actually April 13th, and the main dates of it are April 13th to April 15th, and it is the beginning of the Buddhist New Year, and uh, everybody throws holy water all over each other because it's supposed to bring fertility and prosperity and refreshment to everybody that gets covered in the water. It's kind of a fun little holiday, and it's a nationwide holiday here in Thailand, and uh, this just so happens to be the first one that's been legal since 2019. Officially dressed. <laughs> oh, man, this is some craziness. I am so just got mudded. <laughs> uh, this is just absolutely crazy. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Chad B from CB Media for uh, shooting me with his water gun during all of the chaos. <laughs> uh, you should check out his YouTube channel, CB Media. I'll leave a link down in the description. His channel's based on a tie hot rods and just cool cars and motorbikes from around the world as well as everything else Thailand so go check it out but hey let's go check out some of this Songkran street food I've just been like, oh well that didn't last long Alright, so my face is painted and I got me a skewer of some uh, crocodile meat. Never had crocodile before, but let's check it out.
Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. I've heard that it's usually a lot chewier than this. But really, this is really tender, and uh, this one isn't spicy. They do have three different flavors over there, and uh, I've heard the spicy one really kicks your ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, grilled crocodile. Let's go check something else out. Got a passion fruit juice. And I can tell you that there's no better juice on the planet because passion fruit is the best juice on the planet. Ah, so good. I just picked up some uh, Isan sour pork sausage. Uh, it was 50 baht for this entire this entire bag here. Uh, and while I was doing that, I got shot in the butt with a squirt gun, <laughs> real heavy like. <laughs> but let's uh, let's try this thing out. So, Isan sour pork sausage. Ooh, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Maybe should have waited a minute. <laughs> oh man. Well. Yeah, so that sourness, it's not too very sour, but it's a, it's a really, really bright flavor. Uh, definitely something worth eating. Uh, it feels like, the, the texture feels like there's probably some rice or something in there as well. It's something that I think if you come to Thailand and you see San Sour Sausage, on one of the street vendors uh, places you should definitely pick up some because that's a very very tasty so yeah that's what it looks like just a little tiny ball of meat nice charred and just beautifully cooked yeah yeah so there's definitely some sticky rice going on in there Still a bit too hot to eat, to be honest. <laughs> but, yeah. That's what the inside of it looks like. Very delicious. Very, very delicious. And I just got blasted in the ear with a, with a super soaker. And, uh, yeah, these little kids are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So we ended up getting a mango roti and a mixed drink soda. Uh, so let's check this out. Mm. That's got some ooey gooey fruitiness to it with some chocolate backing and just unbelievably amazing. 
Thailand has the best dessert food. <laughs> Try this green soda here. Oh man, have you ever had that juicy fruit gum before? That is exactly what that soda tastes like. Man. don't get better than the streets of Thailand I can tell you that all right well if you've enjoyed this video please like subscribe hit that notification bell uh, and do it for the chaos that is Songkran and as always eat great food